and aiding the Vietnamese people, I saw that we were party to their deliberate and systematic destruction. The Vietnamese were considered, all considered less than humans, inferiors. We called them gooks, slopes. Their lives weren't worth anything to us because we've been taught to believe that they were all fanatical and that they were all VC or VC sympathizers, even the children. Many of us, however, began to understand through our personal experiences in Vietnam the depth of the lies and deceptions practiced upon us and the American people by our country's leaders. It was they who trained us to kill without question and to hate our enemy, the Vietnamese. They concocted such phrases as kill ratios, search and destroy, free fire zones, secure areas, and so on to mask the reality of their combat policy in Vietnam. I make no apology for this act of resistance. I could do nothing else at the time.